Uh, today we are with Kevin Rowe, research scientist from uh, NOAA and University of Washington, and his research area is chemistry of seawater. So, uh, as a first question, um, why is the seawater salty, Kevin? Well, you have runoff from mountains and the continents, and uh, you have volcanic input, and uh, some things are removed from seawater, so it's a balance. And um, salinity is the salt matter in grams per kilogram of seawater. And what's salinity indeed? We use this term a lot, but what is the exact definition of salinity? Well, it's uh, the dissolved amount of grams per kilogram of seawater when you replace uh, iodide and bromide with chloride and you oxidize carbonate to an oxide. Now that's kind of a, that's an old definition from the 1880s. Nowadays we define it by uh, conductivity. So what are different, what are the different uh, types of salts in the seawater? Well your, your biggest uh, anion, which is negative charge, is chloride of course, and the, the uh, most common positive ion or cation is sodium. But there are many other things in seawater too. You have sulfate, that's a major, second major anion, and you've got uh, calcium and magnesium. Just about anything that could erode off a continent ends up in seawater. We are familiar with these elements from the periodic table, from the chemistry classes. And what are the factors that change salinity in the seawater? Well, for one thing, if you have a river nearby, uh, that dilutes the seawater, and also if you have an arid sea, something landlocked, where uh, there's more evaporation than precipitation or river input, that makes it more salty. The major elements themselves stay in the same ratios. And what technology do you use to measure salinity in the seawater? Well, originally what was used, and, and still is the most precise method, is a uh, silver titration. But uh, salinity nowadays is defined by a, a conductivity measurement. So uh, we use science, the conductivity measurements, uh, to make these measurements. And how does uh, the salinity affect on conductivity? Well, uh, every, every uh, seawater sample of the same salinity will have the same conductivity. Uh, it's compared versus a standard. Uh, the ultimate standard is a potassium chloride solution of a, a certain concentration at a certain temperature. That's the ultimate standard, but in doing salinity measurements, they usually use a standard seawater called IAPSO, that's the name of the, or, or Copenhagen water. That's of a, a certain concentration, an average seawater concentration is 35 parts per thousand, is 35 grams per thousand. Can we just uh, see what kind of instruments to use in the lab? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Right here we have a selenometer, which does that conductivity measurement. And uh, this one here is uh, for dissolved oxygen. It's a titration. And uh, behind us I have two spectrophotometers. Those are used for uh, sulfide sulfide when I get to hydrothermal vents, ammonia, and I have a pH measurement and an alkalinity measurement. Does the salinity of the seawater change in time? It's been remarkably constant over uh, thousands of millions of years. In some places where the ocean's been cut off, it's evaporated in places, but generally the, the uh, salinity of the ocean and the, uh, the relationship between the conservative elements has stayed pretty much the same. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, for million, million years, the salinity of the uh, seawater didn't change then. It's so interesting. And can we make some uh, environmental connections with the chemistry of the seawater? Well, one of the things we're studying here is a natural system. Mm -hmm. uh, chemicals, from the hydrothermal vents are being injected in seawater, and we're seeing what the ultimate fates of those elements are. It's something that we can we can track pretty closely. 
And for the students, uh, what kind of a career path did you follow? And what would you recommend for the students who wants to involve with the chemistry of the seawater? Well, I lived on an island when I was in high school, and uh, I was interested in chemistry. I wanted to apply it to something. I was on the beach. I stood on the beach. I looked at seawater, and I thought, I wonder what elements are in that. You know, just uh, anything could be dissolved in there, and I'd like to find out what what it is. You know, and uh, hydrothermal vents at that time hadn't been discovered yet, um, and. Uh, the more you look at it, the more interesting it is. That's great. Thank you so much, Kevin. We'll be talking more about ocean science. Stay tuned. Thanks.